Hey folks, it's time we did a video on Yellowstone again. The questions are surging once more, and there is reason to inject some reasonability to the situation. Let's begin with our 2018 video. We'll watch it and then do a bit of a recap. Hey folks, Yellowstone is in the news this weekend, and for the exact reason we most often discuss that volcano, and for one of the reasons we worry much, much more about other mountains on Earth. In a beautiful signature of the best supervolcano pressure release system on our planet, the most complex hydrothermal system on Earth has let Steamboat Geyser go off for the third time this year. It goes off every few months, but the last time it went off three times in one year was 2003. It does indeed happen every 10 to 20 years. Now to answer the most critical question, which also touches on the number one misunderstanding about Yellowstone, this is a sign of peace at the caldera overall, not an eruption to come soon. One of the best ways to tell that this and similar volcanoes are getting ready to blow is that the water dries up at the lithosphere or gets cut off underground by deformation, collapses, or chamber filling. The extra geyser events at Steamboat this year are telling that the hydrothermal system is healthy, acting to help cool the caldera and release pressure slowly, and not at all indicating that major changes are taking place beneath the ground. The reason why we are terribly concerned about Campi Flegri in Italy, numerous mountains in Central America, and across the sea in the Indonesia and Papua New Guinea areas, rather than Yellowstone, is because Yellowstone does have an unmatched pressure release system. Geothermal heating of that water and of the ground itself combines with annual earthquake swarms that refuse to allow pressure to build up and pop in a big one. You can learn some excellent details on why, for all the real worry about volcanoes you hear from me, I moved next door to Yellowstone feeling safe as can be. Watch the interview we did on Suspect Sky Channel, it is linked below this video. The point here is that it is basic Yellowstone geology that when the water dries up and geysers stop popping, we could be seeing big changes underneath and pressure building up rather than venting out slowly over time. Below this video, we also have some links to reasons not to forget about volcanoes as they are indeed poised to be a big part of our future. I will see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone. So again, the scary signs would be when there is a lack of hydrological features like geysers. The trapping and then heating of the water is a huge aspect of explosive volcanic events. Yellowstone, on the other hand, has one of the best hydrological release systems of any volcano on Earth, and it's currently venting its pressure arguably better than any other volcano as well. Along with the water release, the quakes and geothermal release tell us it has ways to shake out that pressure beyond the water, and all of them mean together that the Yellowstone caldera is thousands of years away from having enough pressure for the scary explosive eruption so many are worried about. Two more critical notes. First, Effusive eruptive events are possible. Effusive eruptions at volcanoes are like we see in Hawaii where the lava bubbles up and spills over. But it's the explosive eruptions that are scarier and that goes double for Yellowstone. While an effusive event would be bad for nearby and downhill areas, the doom by Yellowstone scenario requires the explosive eruption that doesn't have the pressure to make at this moment. Second, I've seen several people over the last decade trying to scare people with evidence that the animals in Yellowstone are fleeing. Now, while that is likely to happen prior to an eruption, every single instance thus far has been normally timed animal migrations for the season, so please don't be fooled there. We have a lot of things to worry about on Earth right now, and indeed many volcanoes to worry about among them. For now, Yellowstone is not one of them. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.